Hello, Your Honor. Welcome now to Thursday. Well, sunny today for the justices and the jury of the Zodiac, but nesting and resting. The moon is well into Capricorn now, but has moved off of Pluto as of 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I think emotionally you are grounding yourself, kind of reuniting emotionally with your family or your home situation. And if you find any flaws in that area, it's time to repair them. Right now with Pluto in Capricorn, it's time for Librans to really ground themselves in a way where no one can disrupt their foundation. Now, zipping around to the sun, it's also about lifestyle. We're at the 29th degree of sun in Pisces. This month, Capricorns have been focusing on their lifestyle. That's health. That's the way you live in the moment. That's the way you drive to work. That's the way you live at work. That's the way you live at home. It is day in, day out. It is our routines, basically. And at 29 degrees, you might find yourself being a little impatient about wanting change. That's okay. This emotional day is meant to kind of push over the boundaries, to push ourselves into the lifestyle that we want. One last thing, Venus in Aries and retrograde. Now, Venus has been retrograde for about two weeks. A retrograde planet means that we are rethinking this area. So, Librans are rethinking what marriage is for them in 2009, what it, they define it as, and that also includes the marriage to yourself, by the way, Libra. But one interesting thing, Venus will be squaring Pluto for the next two weeks. Now, a square comes down to a 90-degree angle between the two planets. What it means in our own life is fear. Fears that we have between two areas of our life will kind of usurp to the surface. For you, these fears deal with long-term relationships as they relate to childhood. So I'm expecting Librans to be doing some deep processing on how their childhood might have led to a certain attitude or certain direction in the marriages. Perhaps you are marrying your mother. Perhaps you're marrying your father. Perhaps you're marrying your anti-mother. Perhaps you're marrying your anti-father. In any case, you should be marrying who you want. So you might be having little fears bubble up between who you want to be with and how to ground yourself. And remember, we need to annihilate that fear because fear is the only thing that can block our light. All right, Your Honor, that's all I have for Thursday. See you tomorrow with your weekend forecast. Live, love, be. So good.